Hello, okay, time for a lying cool down. So uh, it is true, not lying, but actually as in lying down. So it's quite a nice one to finish. Um, so yeah, I'm already down here, so you can just do like, like a walk out to get down here. Um, so if you're uh, starting out, you know, you may have tight uh, pain, like niggles in your knees because that's due to the tightness. Knees a sleeper, unless you've got tendons, ligament issues, all that kind of stuff. Knee is a sleeper, so it's coming from the hips or the feet or thighs, all these things. Um, which you will find as you do these, progress through these movements and mobility routines, all of those things will ease. However, at the start, you know, you may have a little bit of tightness in these knees. So if you can, this is why we're doing these lying warm-ups and cool-downs. However, for everyone else, they're just nice to throw in from time to time for a little bit of a variation. So, um, we're just going to look at the child's pose. So what I'm saying is, you know, if you're having trouble with the knees, just bypass this one, but you should be all right to get down into this position. The ones I'm talking about that hurt a bit more are probably like these kneeling, uh, kneeling adductors and all that kind of stuff. So by actually lying on our front and our back, we're taking these kneeling ones out so much. However, on this one, you should be able to find that child's pose for a couple of breaths. And then we'll come forward to our prone cobra upward dog. And obviously the pressure should be on your knees there anyway. Eyes up. Uh, nice and gentle. And then what we're going to do, about two big breaths on each. Got your developmental stretching, no overstretching. Uh, you know, a little extra stretch, but not into pain. Now what we're going to do, similar to the warm-up mobility one, I'm going to go straight for the thigh. Quad stretch. So I'm going to lie on my side. Now as we talked about before with the warm-up, if it's really tight, you can use a towel to hook that round. You know, and get your thigh stretch on the side. However, you should be able to reach for that. And then, as opposed to the movement one, the mobility one, I'm just holding that for a couple of breaths. And then your developmental extra stretch. As I say, it all depends on where you're at. Same with the knee. You know, if you've got a little bit of tightness in the knees. A lot of guys, when they start, the new guys start, where they've got a lack of mobility and they don't do any flexibility movement stuff. That's why they have these aches and pains and imbalances. And it's just mainly down to this. Nothing, nothing serious. You just need to loosen up a little bit. However, kneeling uh, may be a little bit uncomfortable. So we're taking it out for now. Uh, but as mentioned, you know, if it's really tight, you may need to use that towel. I've had guys where, you know, when they're trying to grip their socks and they can't get their foot back and because their thighs and hips are so tight, which is why the knees, uh, they have problems with the knees, which is why they can't do the kneeling stuff. So just stick with it. Patience. The rest of you should be flying, you should be getting them right back with ease now, don't force it. Easing the shoulders back as well, so I've got that extension, I mean extension, all up, not just the hip and thigh, all up the upper body as well, I'm bringing my shoulders back. Exhale, deeper stretch, developmental, not forcing it. Brilliant, and then all I'm going to do is just lie on my back. Now, all I'm going to do, bring this uh, knee neutral, knee facing the ceiling. Sky, I'm just bringing it in and I'm holding it. So I'm finding that biting point in my hip there. Now again, if it's really tight, you can all, in the lower back, you can bend this knee to take the pressure off your back. However, you can keep it straight, that is optional, up to you, whatever feels more comfortable. But I've got my shoulders on the floor. And again, if you can't, you know, if you're really tight and struggling, towel assistance around there. I'm just easing this knee towards your chest, similar to the marching movement. So I want it straight, neutral, coming in towards my chest. Cut the breaths there. Developmental exhale, deeper stretch while we're warm. Oh yeah, that gets into that. Then I'm going to release. Clutch, biting point. Exhale a little bit deeper. As I said, if that's really tight, just stay there. Let, just relax the breathing and you'll find that it'll just ease over those deep breaths. However, you know, if you're a little bit looser and you want to go a bit deeper, use the developmental stretching that we've looked at. <sighs> Great job. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come across. So now I want a bit of peripheral mass, a bit of glute, and obviously you'll fill in different parts of your hips, as we know, ball and socket, they go in all different directions. So what I'm saying is that first one is just straight. This one, I'm going to come across. So it's almost like I'm bringing um, my left knee across towards my right shoulder. Try not to pick your butt and hips up. Your, your butt will lift, but try not to try and keep your hips and shoulders on the floor. And you're just easing it in, and you should feel it here, the peripheralness. And again, this is why it's a good variation, even for you guys that are pretty loose now. You know, we're hitting the peripheralness. We hit from the pigeon stretch, 
uh, we hit it from the low sprint, uh, all that kind of stuff. It's just another one now. And all I'm trying to do, so I'm not trying to pull it down to the side, that's slightly different. I'm actually just trying to bring this knee up and towards my opposite shoulder. So you will get a bit of hip and glute as opposed to dropping it down where it's more or just glute. So I swap sides. So from this angle, we've just done the straight one. Now I'm easing it across, not pulling. So what I'm saying is when I'm going for extra stretch, if we're looking for a little extra stretch, developmental, you're coming up and across right knee towards left shoulder as opposed to down and across towards the floor. You're coming up. So I've got my biting point. And what I'm saying is I may even feel it in here in my hips a little bit. So when I do my developmental, I'm coming up towards my left shoulder. Oh yeah, hip and glute, I can feel that one, beautiful. And then we'll release that one. Now I'm gonna bend both knees because I wanna keep the pressure off my lower back because I'm going into my hamstrings and the lower back, just like your uh, knees. If you've got pain in your lower back, it's usually coming from tight hamstrings or tight uh, thoracic upper body from being sat hunched over all day. So it's all about the hammy now. And again, if it's tight, you're not, you're not pulling too hard, just biting points again. You can always use the towel assistance, developmental stretch, slight bend in that knee. I'm shaking a little bit, shaking's all right. And then release it. So this bend keeps the pressure off my lower back. That's the straight, you'll feel a little bit more on your lower back. So uh, as I said, your hamstrings, tight hamstrings can affect the lower back. Deep breath in, exhale, extra stretch. There you go, you can see that movement on developmental, but where it's a little bit deeper, I've got the shake on, but that's all right. Developmental, exhale. And relax. So as I say, grab it here. If you're tight, just find the biting point and just breathe, concentrate on the breathing. If you've been doing it a lot longer, and this is a variation and it feels pretty loose, feels good, you can go a little bit deeper, but no forcing and you're going deep with your relaxed breathing. Okay, now we're going to adductors. So the same as the warm up one, soles of the feet together, knees out, but in the warm up we're doing a bit of mobility. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hands on my thighs there. And again, that is enough. What I'm saying is just breathe. Over time, gravity will do its job and that will just feel a lot looser. But for the extra stretch, when I do my developmental, I breathe in, I exhale and I just gently push my thighs down towards the floor. And we're just opening up all the hips and groin. Brilliant. And now what we're going to do, we're going to go back to the performance because it is it is a bit of a bugger for imbalances and the glutes is the biggest muscle in the human body. So now I'm just going to cross that knee. Uh, so it's my left foot across my right knee, under the right thigh, and I'm just easing out. This one I'm trying to square it a little bit. If you're really tight, that'll kick out. So we've looked at this seated as well. So I'm just trying to square it a little bit, all in this glute. And if that's a tight, just relax again, breathe. But then when you go for your extra stretch, as I ease this right knee towards my chest, I'm just trying to square this one a little bit, almost together. And again, you can always use that towel through this leg. I'll demonstrate that on the other side. Development bar. Brilliant, swap over. So now this one's usually a little bit tighter for me, you can see it. So I construct on squaring it, as opposed to pulling this one in and this coming out. Think square. Towel assisted. Square a little bit. And relax. And your last one is I'm going to just lie on my back, arms and legs straight. And what we're going to do, I'm going to try and show you this because everything's in shot. So I've got my toes there and my arms are back on the floor. And I'm basically going to push through my right foot and my left arm. So it's opposite. So I'm just trying to elongate. So the right foot is coming this way. The left arm is coming this way. Left and right. Elongating. Almost like you're lengthening your whole body. You might even get taller. And then I relax. And now it's the right hand, 
left foot pushing through the toes, so the actual foot's like that, but pushing through the foot, pushing through the fingers, opposites, left foot, right arm, then you relax, and now I'm going to do both together, I'm going to do both feet, both hands, through the fingers, elongate, and as you're pushing through, gently, gently mind, ease your lower back down towards the floor, so you're just dropping that lower, and you should feel a nice stretch in your back, all up and down, and exhale, relax. And that is it. So all you gotta do is get back up. Now for the rest, of, uh, for me, I'm just gonna do like a little spinal wave back up. However, you can just stand up and so on and so forth. So there it is, I'm all nice and relaxed now. That was a nice one. So give that a go and I'll see you on the next one.